Hello everyone and welcome to my Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to be making uh, games of like Pong. We'll just go in here and make a new game. As you can see I've already made one. But we're going here. Pong 2. Now for those of you that don't know, Pong was a game it was forced but one of the first games ever bought out. And um, it's just pretty basic. We're just gonna make a one player version at the moment. But I'll um I'll upload a two player version later on. So we'll start off with a sprite for the player. Now I find if you go width of about twelve, I know we'll go sixteen and about sixty four we go about forty eight for the height. So it makes a good rectangle size. You can make this whatever you want, but um, I just like doing it this way. So we'll make him interesting enough colour. Um, we'll just buttonize that. Smooth the edges. There we are. There's our sprite for the player. Now we'll also make a sprite for the ball. And we'll go 16 by 16. And you can make this a cube or whatever you want. But just for the sake of this video, it's going to be a ball. And check the center for that. We only need one more sprite, and that'll be the wall. So we'll make a new one, 32 by 32. And again, I'm just going blue and green as a sort of a color scheme for this. I'll buttonize that. Yep, that looks fine. Hey, we don't have to set the origin on that one. So now we'll come in here and I'll create all the objects first. So we've got our player object. We've got the ball object. We've got the wall object. And we'll put another one in here, which is GY. So that'll just tell our player all the stuff about it. So in this one, I'll do all this as a drag and drop, and then I'll make another one where I'll convert all the drag and drop into um, coding and scripts, just so you can see the difference between the two. So on create event, we're under here, we will set the score to zero, set his lives to three. Now, at event, keyboard up. Um, I'm just gonna make, sh just gonna find this. Um, Trying to remember where the if position three is. Ah, check empty. So we go minus five relative on the y. So it checks if it's above it is empty, and if it is, move that way relative. So now we can just duplicate that event down. I'm going to go five, change that to five. An event, keyboard, no key. I'll actually untick those. Alright, so now go into here and put the player into the room. Hit play. Pressing the up and down key causes him to move. And when we take the finger off, he stops. So now we want to put turn this wall into solid. 
create those. Wall. Create a wall on there. And up the top. Save it. And play it again. So going into here. Uh oh. As you can see, we can't move. What we have to do is add a collision event to the wall. I know how to do this all in code, it's just a little bit harder. There you are. So you now you can't collide with the wall. Now, want the wall in here as well, just to limit the area so the wall's, ball's not bouncing all the way around. Now we'll come into the ball object, and we'll go on create, um, where is it? move, we'll set it to 5. Now we want to set a variable, so we're going to control, set var, we'll call it impact, equals to zero, and that'll do it, I think. Yep, that's it. Now, we want a collision event with the wall, and we come here and we want to bounce. Precisely duplicate event collision with player. Now we want it to do that. We also want it to set the score to I don't know, we'll go five, five, ten, whatever you want. Set that. We want to set variable impact plus one. Now if we create a step event. And what that'll do, we'll test if impact greater than or equal to 5. So it'll take test how many times the play, person has hit the um, player. So we'll go in here. Um, sorry, I just received a text message there. Set variable speed plus one relative and set impact back to zero. So what that does is it tests if the ball has hit the player five times and if so it'll set the speed up one so it'll increase the speed of it and it'll re reset the impact back to zero. So if we come back in here we add the ball save our project, we press play. So we come back in here, ball bounce around, doesn't bounce off that. Oh, I forgot to do this.